That's an awful lot of cash, Tira. Make sure you guys smash the and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more Oz contents. We have Refined Gaming's first case tournament, actually, from Saturday that I uh, got to be a part of and uh, didn't actually have too much fun. My opponent ended up blowing me out. Uh, thank you, my dear friend out here, for playing Runic White Forest against regular um, <laughs> Runic. Uh, you know, you kind of get trash in that matchup. But that's it for my tournament report. I ended up uh, going and just playing cards on the side and having a good time out there. But nice little casual hour and a half drive to get out of the house. But anyway, your breakdown for this event is three cash tier at Duelist. That is a lot of cash tier, to be honest with you. I, uh, I'm really impressed by that turnover, that you're actually seeing that much cash Tira kind of being present in an event. You know, you don't really, I don't feel like you see that all that much, but since we're kind of in this remainder of this limbo format as we're heading on into Fool Warso out here, this definitely proves that the mid-range control options that Cash kind of had kind of shifted things around a little bit in favor of them. Uh, we also had two Tempai Dragon decks in Top Cut, and I'm not all that surprised to see that. Tempai is one of those decks that just has explosive game-pushing capabilities, and as long as you see the, the, the push, you're good to go. We also had two Snake Eyes variations. I mean, are, are you really that surprised to hear me say that? Snake Eyes is still that deck that you look at out here and you're like, Woo! OTK! So, <laughs> standard stuff, as it should be. And we also have a Chimera Illusion deck that managed to creep on into the top cut. I actually, I found that kind of interesting, the fact that, you know, the Chimera good stuff is still able to kind of be this lingering presence in the meta is actually pretty strong. So overall, this is an abnormality of a top cut. Cash definitely got away with some interesting things. Let's pass it over deck list. That last cutaway made me sound like I just stuttered really hard, but <laughs> okay. So starting things off here, we have our Cash Tira deck. Now, there may be a lot of cash here, I'm gonna be honest with you. There, there's there's some cool little things here. I mean, like this builds playing Zombie World. Like this ended up winning with Zombie World, for example. Like that's pretty cool. I mean, you're still doing the one ogre, which is fine. Um, still maximizing, but this is interesting. We're only playing two Theosis. Um, honestly, cutting a Theosis and playing the Zombie World is not exactly the worst thing. We're also, you know, having the set rotation now means you can give your opponent the Zombie World and kind of force them to flip this up, which is kind of funny, actually. I see we are playing the Harmonizer Gradial in here, too. Um, this is also kind of interesting. We are playing the Ching. I guess in a world where you do need to have, like, a large monster to try to control your opponent for, you know, any sort of maybe troublesome task, the Changing is going to be that thing to help you out and do the thing. So th this is cute. I like this. Okay. Next up here we have Ten Pi OTK. So you're playing two crossouts, which is kind of interesting. Uh, of course, we are doing two Dark Hole, two Regeki with two Lightning Storms for the board breaker here. Uh, they actually chose to play the Triple Ogre in the main. I like this. This is this is cute. Obviously, you know, we're going to have Fool War, so things are going to be a different story here in the future. So I'm all about that. We also played the one change of heart in here to take your opponent's stuff. That's actually kind of cute as well. Uh, we're doing the Kwaki Rodrigo for the interruption. We have two Perulias. And we're also playing two copies of Royal Decree. Okay. I mean, I guess in a world where you're playing in a case tournament like this and you're worried about running into some, you know, stupid off things, like, this is probably an actual really good call. And especially, you know, because most decks aren't going to have an out to this, especially if they're heavy back row trap decks. That's cute. Okay. Next up here we have, holy crap, so much Cash Tira. Uh, this Cash Tira build actually opted for the two Ghost Ogres, which I think is fine. You know, having the Ogre to blow up the Fountain is going to be relatively strong. I see, of course, the we main decking droplets. You do want some sort of board breaker cards in here, you know. Being able to push through that big field that your opponent has so you can kind of start to snowball and generate some sort of advantage is going to be good. We're also back on the Triple Theosis. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, you lost Pot of Prosperity, which was your consistency generator. So, you know, with that loss, I kind of feel like, you know, the set rotation in the other field spell 
it's kind of how you try to fix that. You know what I mean? You need to make sure that with the supplements that the deck can still find its pieces and do its thing. Also, I'm really surprised by like no desires in this. I guess like they just didn't want to deal with, you know, losing random good pieces. Okay. Oh my gosh. More cash tier. You mean to tell me that all three of our cash tier decks were all top four for this event? That's insane, actually. I guess I got to clap for it, man. If you're a cash tier player, you're eating really good right now because you had all of this just handed to you. You're like, ooh. Lots of candy here. This build was actually mean decking Cosmic Cyclones, which, okay, that's that's interesting. Um, all of the standard pieces here are fine. Uh, this build's back on the two Theosis, which is fine. Uh, dedicating the two slots to this. I also see we are playing triple sphere mode in here. I mean, you don't really give a crap about your normal summon in this. Like, if you have to normal summon, you've got, like, you have the birth here, I guess, to help you do that, but even so, like, you're just gonna go ahead and extend down with this. Congratulations, you've accomplished what you set out to do. Uh, we're also playing the Lizard Doss in here as well. Okay, okay. Well, that should be the end of our cached hero madness here. All right, next up we have some Tempai for you here. Huh? I liked the other build that played the Change of Heart. I thought that was really cute. I see we are playing triple bike steel in the main deck here. So instead of doing the Ghost Ogre that you saw on the previous list here, being able to have the bike steals as the form of interruption uh, is going to be pretty decent. I also see here we have the droplets for the board breakers here. We also have the red geckies for the board breaks here. And of course, this build is side decking triple Fenrir. I don't know how I feel about this. Fenrir is a cute card. It definitely helps you set up some pieces along the way, you know, having that extra body on the field for the interruption to control your opponent, which is good. Oh, we are playing the change of cards just in the side deck, but it's so saucy in the main. Okay, we also have the Quagimero Drago off of the spheres to punish the opponent. Oh, I see we're also playing it to Hark down here for the extension. Okay, uh, we have some cute little things here. I like this list. This is interesting to say the least okay and then we have huh chimera good stuff kind of a shame that this made sixth place um this is one of those decks you look at and you're like you know this can usually do better um the plug gate that they chose the main deck was actually the dia blaze that's fine i mean post side decking you also have access to the invader and to the king tiger wang ho um i don't the dark barrier statue is a good card to be honest with you the only problem with Dark Barrier Statue is, like, um, you might find yourself, you know, <laughs> needing to make some other elements, like, oh, this is, that's wind, you know, like, this is also wind. Strange, you know, you can't make Mangdong either, so, some cute little things. I also see that uh, we went with the triple deck lock down here, uh, just to be able to, no searchability, no spells to summon from the deck. It's, uh, it's the free you bell stopper. Honestly, like this is uh, this is some pretty cute stuff. I got to give it to them. So, you know, Chimera, good stuff. Definitely getting some time to shine here. And then we have ooh, Fire King Snake Eye here. So we are doing the Birch. I think Birch has become more of a necessity now. Pre Asmin, obviously, you know, once we get post Asmin, it's a brand new world with a whole new attitude out of here. And you'll be able to do all of this other stuff. I also see. We are citing the Little Fucho in case you do run into our dear friends out at the Tempai Dome, you know, where they're like, ah, I'm going to spam, try to OTK you. Like, what are you going to do? And the answer is, well, sniffle, cry, and then tell your bird to get out there. It's his last hoorah. All right, but he's not going to be destroyed by battle that turn, so, you know, that that's fine. I also see, hi, little skill drain. Ah, so the one of still is one of him. I also see we are playing the Angel Statue of Azrun in here for the little rabbit. Yeah, the little tricks rabbit. Can you see why duelists love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah, it's because of Azrun. That's why. And our last list here is some more Snake Eyes. Wow. This is basically Snake Eyes Cash Terra. I t see. I knew it. I knew that there was more back here. All right. It always is. So, you know, you're still doing the bonfire stuff. You're still attempting to go down this little sub line here. But you're like, ah, oh, today I'm going to mix all of the packages together. Optimization out the window. I'm going to just draw my cash tier and stuff. And then I'll fiend smith combo you. And then boom, bonfire. Oh, at the end of combo. Like, what? You just got combo broke. And then you get to your mode. And you're like, GG. I scoop. So that is our breakdown for this event. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.